Hey you guys, it's your girl Irielle. I'm back with another video, but this time I'm doing a hair tutorial. So today I'm starting off with one of these wigs that I made. It is a wig that I dyed jet black. Today we're gonna put some crimps on it. Um, I did let it air dry overnight, but I was just blow drying it to make sure that it's fully dry. And here I'm just showing y'all the luster of the hair. Um, I'm going for a middle part with crimps now let me tell you the details on this hair i did dye it jet black with the just five um jet black and then i also added the adore crystal clear on top of it so that's probably why it's looking like a silky jet black but i'm just going ahead and making my middle part hot combing it and just making sure everything is nice and straight Now I'm going in with the She Bombs Wax Stick. Um, you can get this from your hair store. Also, all products that I'm using in the video, I'm going to link them down in the description box. But um, also, I wanted to say, please don't get my wig head too much. I don't have this thing since high school. She has been through a lot. All my coloring, crazy phases, bleaching. As you can see, I like to dye all my wigs. Not all of them, but I like to dye my wigs jet black. And so now I'm taking some Nairobi setting lotion. This is just to mold your um, parts into place instead of just using that wax stick. This is also a good tip that you can use because sometimes the wax stick can be a little greasy. Then I'm taking the Tresemme um, Hold. This is what I'm using on my crimps because um, you do need something to make the crimps stay in place. I don't use Got To Be Glue because that just makes the crimps really hard. I'm going for a soft wave i don't want them to be like crunchy hard so that's why i use the tresemme because it doesn't have like a hard crusty hole it's just like a firm hole with crimping hair um i let the iron sit on each part of the hair for like 10 to 20 seconds of course this is sped up but when you're crimping the hair all the way down you want to make sure you hold it there for like 10 to 20 seconds so the cramp can actually stay Also, another important part of the crimps, you will see in the video how like I'm not crimping the sections right on top of each other. I'm literally crimping the hair to fill in the gaps. I don't like when I see crimps and you can see the parts of like where they was crimping it. So if it makes sense, I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. But if I crimp a hair right and you see that there is a part, like how you see there's a part in between these two crimps that I made, instead of making a crimp right on top of this one that I'm doing, I'm going to make a crimp in bet like on between to cover up that part so that way everything looks cohesive. I hope that makes sense. But if you just follow and watch what I'm doing, you will get the concepts. You don't want to crimp like... This is not box braids. You don't want every everything to line up symmetrically. You want to crimp over where you see your parts so everything look cohesive. Okay, so I'm about to do my ball cap method. Don't mind my, my braids, y'all. I did it myself. <laughs> I usually pay somebody to braid my hair down because my hair is too thick. And it takes me like a good hour to braid my hair down. Cause, and I'm tender headed, so I think that's what another thing that takes my hair down. But, you know, we're going to be doing a 5x5 lace closure. I still do the ball cap. 
with any of my um anytime i'm installing a wig rather that's a closure or a lace frontal i'm doing a ball cap i have seen it where some people be like a ball cap is really not necessary and stuff like that but honestly i feel like it is because when you're using a lace especially like a good lace that's hd it could even be transparent literally the lace is so thin that it shows what's underneath so if you have let's say you dyed your hair hot red you dyed your hair hot red and then you put lace your lace frontal wig on it you don't think that your red hair is going to show underneath the knots if you don't tint it or put a ball cap under it that's just my preference so i feel like a ball cap is needed And to slick my edges, I used the Got To Be Gel. And then I'm gonna be taking this wig cap. Um, I got this from a hair store. It's supposed to be HD lace. We're gonna see if it's really a, a HD wig cap. We're gonna see if it really is. They didn't even have my stockings in stock. I was so mad, because I usually use stockings, but apparently this is supposed to be a HD wig cap, so we're gonna see. Okay, it is HD. So if you see this at your local store, it's approved. HD wig cap. When you use when you're doing your frontals, you want to make sure your wig cap is really thin. Please do not get them thick wig caps. And I'm gonna show y'all which wig cap I'm talking about because I had one and I don't even use it. Like once I discover HD, I don't even use it no more. Y'all, this is the wig cap that I'm talking about. Um, this is the one that they usually give y'all when y'all order them wigs off the Amazon Amazon and AliExpress and stuff. This wig cap is super super thick. It, to me, it doesn't really blend that much. It's like if you're gonna use a cap like this, like it's, as y'all can see, like this is really more see through than this. If you were to use a cap like this, this will still be good. I mean, back in the day, people used to finesse wigs using this cap. If you was to use this, you it would be best to find a, a cap that is closer to your skin tone so it can melt a little bit better. Because it's kind of hard to really manipulate this since it's already thick. I'm going to get the wig and I'm going to measure out like where I should stop with my frontal closure. Sorry. Okay, y'all. So this is the wig. Let me show y'all. This is the wig. I did it on the mannequin head. I did some crimps. I mean, I'm talking about I did Y'all saw it, but I had to manipulate the hairline a little bit because, you know, it was a little balding. But this is a 5x5 five five full lace closure wig. I made it myself. This, this hair is from my vendor. Um, and I also sewed it on a machine. This can also help prevent, like, if you're somebody who don't know where to put the glue or you find yourself putting the glue um, in places that's not needed or you have too much glue and then you stick it on, carve out where you're going to put it at. So, boom. I'm doing this for the ball cap as well because you don't want to just apply your ball cap in a straight line. So, for my ball cap, I also use the Got Some Glue. I don't put lace glue on it. Okay, and because this is a um a, a ball cap for a closure I'm not gonna keep the whole ball cap on like that would be ridiculous and then I just like to slow sew the perimeters of where the ball cap is gonna be at Okay, so now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. Um, I used to use this, the 14, but I think I really need to go a shade darker. That don't really match my skin. I feel like your ball cap should really make you look like your ball. Should make you look like your ball. 
and that one is kind of a little bit light so I need to go back and probably get a 15 or a 16 but you can use any kind of makeup this Maybelline foundation definitely is my skin tone so that's what I use right now Another way to like really lay your lace down, if you get some spritz, I'll let it spray a little bit on my hands and just put your cap down. So now I'm going to take some sea breeze and just clean off um, my hairline. I heard alcohol, I've been seeing on TikTok and Instagram lately and I heard that alcohol is bad to be cleaning off your hairline with. Um, so I switched to Sea Breeze because I do have sensitive skin. Sometimes my skin do be burning. So I only use alcohol when it's to clean off my lace of excess glue. But I'm going to be taking the Boho Active and I'm going to do three layers of that and then install my wig. Okay, now I'm going to go back in again. But this time, I'm actually going to straighten my part up. Actually, I need to tint my lace first. Because <laughs> this is definitely going to give me white cast. So I'm just going to take that same foundation and just tint my lace. This is the time I'm going to take off my melt band because... Yeah, I'm feeling the no baby hairs. I was gonna add baby hairs, but I'm feeling none, none whatsoever. Okay, y'all, and this is the final look for the hair. The crimps kind of like got combed out a little bit, but that's okay because I wanted it to be like on a soft wave. I didn't really want like that hard, crunchy look. Let me turn around so y'all can see the back. But yes, I love it. I love the way. It's very cute to me. Give a very Barbie. Okay, but this is the final hair tutorial. I decided not to do baby hairs. Yeah, I was going to do like two soups right here, but I'm loving the no baby hair look. So, all right, y'all, and thank you for watching. And yes, I did film two videos in one day, so I am wearing the same shirt as the makeup video for this look. But I just want y'all to go ahead and show y'all this. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ariel. That's underscore I-R-A-R-I-E-L. And TikTok at Ariel as well. And y'all, I'm coming in with the heat. So don't forget to stay tuned and hit your notification bell because you need to be staying up to date when I drop the next heat. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.